Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. Today I'm in the shop and I've decided that I wanted to work Wi-Fi. Actually, let me put this up over here where the white is so that you can see it better. This is the Wi-Fi antenna, antenna that you commonly see with 3D printers, laser engravers, whatever the case may be. And it's very limited to, you know, maybe 15 feet or something like that. So it doesn't really make um, working over Wi-Fi very functional. Well, what I decided to do was get one of these guys. <laughs> and believe it or not, this is not expensive. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it's compared to the old one. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. I mean, unbelievable difference in size. This is a high gain antenna. And I picked it up on Amazon pretty cheap I'm really surprised I'll put a link down below in the show more section of the video so that you can buy this yourself if you want it I really bought this to use my 3d printer that's in the shop here from my house which is 150 feet away but I decided today to use this on the laser so that you know I can show you just how well this works so I've gone ahead and taken off the old one and I've put this new one on. You can't see it, but there's the cable going over to the, the uh, Lasermatic 20 that I've got behind me here. This is a beta version. It's not yet out on the market, but I wanted to check this antenna out. So um, we're going to jump over into Lightburn and I'm going to show you in Lightburn how this connected. Now this will work. Uh, this particular connection mode on the version 2 product of the Lasermatic is all done in Lightburn. So you don't have to use M MKS laser tools or anything like that. All you do is set three parameters in Lightburn and it connects to your uh, Wi-Fi router. But uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how I connected with this when I couldn't with my other one, the factory antenna that came with the laser and this is the same exact antenna and probably the same chip on the control board that my 3d printer uses so I'm going to actually use this on the 3d printer but uh, let's jump over into Lightburn and let me show you how this works with the Lasermatic 20. Okay, so we're in Lightburn here and you can see that I've just turned on the laser and here is the message that it is in STA mode which means that it is directly connected to my router with this IP address. And it's important to know that this particular router that it's connected to is probably 30 feet away. It's going through a wall that has metal studs. I could not get it to connect with the standard factory antenna, which I had that problem with a 3D printer in here as well. So uh, with this new antenna, I've been able not only to connect to the shop router, but also connect to my home router, which is about 150 feet away. So huge improvement. And I just wanted to show you real quickly. I've got the camera. I went through a bunch of stuff to get this camera locked in place. And it is now. And you can see here, I've gone to this IP address. 10.0.0.23 and I am connected both in Lightburn and here in the web UI. So if you watch the camera down here now, I'm going to hit one of these controls and there you can see it's moving just fine as you can see and now we'll do the home and everything's working perfectly. Not only is it working with the Wi-Fi but I can also come back over here because I left the plug plugged in uh, for the USB cable and I can also click the map icon over here and move it in Lightburn as well so I'm doing it actually in both uh, now if I if I unplug the USB cable obviously I won't be able to use Lightburn the whole purpose of this video is to show you with with the antenna upgrade you can now get quite a bit of diff distance for the Wi-Fi uh, as compared to the factory one. 
uh, which I could not get to connect to the laser shop. But as you can see here now, I am connected to the laser shop over Wi-Fi with the IP address. And the laser is working perfectly um, in the web UI. So let's go back to control and I will send it home again just so that you can see again one more time. And there we go. Uh, everything's working fine. I'm going to tell you that this little antenna was a great investment for me. So I'm going to use it actually on my 3D printer. But for those of you that are wanting to use the web UI from a distance, I can tell you that I have now successfully connected to my shop Wi-Fi and my home Wi-Fi, which is about 150 feet away and now we're talking about going through a metal building uh, through the walls of the house through two walls that finally get to the living room where the router is located now it is a good router so i will i will say that um, i can connect anywhere on the property with my cell phone to the home wi-fi but uh, this is a great alternative for anyone that's interested in doing remote work with the laser matic all right so for those of you that are wondering how i got the wire into the laser enclosure uh, let me show you that real quick i switched the antenna out and i went ahead and drilled the hole through the acrylic right where the antenna plugs in so if you have a laser matic you can do this yourself it's very easy to do this is very thick acrylic on the laser matic though so I just drilled a hole as close to the antenna plug as I could get and there is the result right there. You don't have to worry about the the hole itself. It doesn't have to be siliconed or anything like that. Um, you know, more air in, more air out. That's the way it works. So that's really about it. That's all there is to it. Now, I do want to say that it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you have a laser matic or you have a 3D printer or anything that uses this type of plug and like I said earlier I'm going to use this on my 3d printer in fact I think I'm gonna leave this one on here and order a second one for my 3d printer that in fact I know I'm gonna do that but that's really all there is to it so like I said I put a link down below in the show more section if you'd like to buy this antenna I did a bunch of searching and what I was looking for was the decibel gain and most of these high gain antennas have, I don't know, three, four, five decibels, something like this. This one, I believe, I'll have to check and make sure if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen right now. I believe this one was like 15 dBi. So this was the most powerful, most reasonable one that I could find on Amazon anyway. I guess you could probably go to your local electronics distributor and maybe get, get it cheaper. But um, I'd like to get that overnight delivery. So I ordered mine on Amazon. So anyway, I hope that um, this video has helped you, whether you have a laser engraver, whether you have a 3D printer, whatever it may be. And as always, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.